In this video, I'm going to combine text with formatted numbers. I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. One uses concatenation, and the second method uses custom formatting. Let's start off with the concatenation method. Now, depending on the version of Excel that you're using, you've got different functions that you can use. In the more recent versions, you'll see the concat function. If you don't have that, you can always use concatenate. So if I use the concat function here, I want to concatenate or join the text value and the number value. So I'd select a two that contains my text value, comma, select B2 contains my numeric value. If I close the bracket, press enter, you can see that it does the concatenation, but it doesn't apply the correct formatting to the numeric portion of this text string. Now you can actually achieve the concatenation without a function. So I can say equals this cell A2 with my text value in ampersand this value here, the numeric value, and it would achieve the same thing. So it's totally up to you how you achieve the actual concatenation. But how do I get this number formatting to be applied within this text string? Now the trick here is to borrow the formatting that has been applied to this cell. Now the way to do that, you can either right click and then go to format cells, or what I tend to do is use the shortcut key control one, and that will bring up this format cells dialog box. Now, if you go to custom here, you'll see the format that Excel is currently using in that cell. Here it is in the type box. There are two parts to it separated by a semicolon. To the left of the semicolon is the format for positive values. To the right, the format for the negative values. You can see that it's formatted in red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that format, and then I'll just cancel out this dialog box. Then I'm gonna go into my concatenation here, double click in the cell. And what I'm gonna do is put the B2 reference within the text function. Text converts a value to text in a specific number format. So it has two arguments, value, well, the value is in B2, comma, format text. Now that's why we went into format sales and borrowed that format, but you do need to put it in quotation marks. If I paste it in there and then close brackets, press enter, you can see it applies the format now within this text string. Now we could do the same thing for this percentage value. If I just did a simple concatenation using the ampersand symbol. You can see Bob achieved 0 0.72. So I select that cell, control one, go to custom. There's the format that I can use in the type box if I copy that. Go back into the cell, put the B3 reference within the text function, comma, in quotation marks, your format, and you have it. Let's do one more. Simple concatenation to begin with. Okay, so here, this is quite confusing because it's given a numeric value rather than a date. And that's because behind every date, there is a number. It's actually a count of days from the 31st to the 12th, 1899. So it's the same process here. Control one on the date, custom. And here you have the date format that you need. So I'm gonna copy that text function in quotation marks. You put your format and you can play around with date formats. For example, if I put in three Ds or four Ds, in fact, see deadline is Monday, 31st of January, 2022 is obviously a Monday. But I could add some more detail to the date. Monday the 31st of Jan, 2022. 
Okay, so if you're using concatenation to join text values to formatted number values, then you need to use the text function. That is the solution in this scenario. Now, custom formatting. So I want this 12 to be prefixed with the word product. And the way I'm going to achieve it in this sheet is to use custom number formatting. Again, I'm going to right click on the cell and go to format cells or control one on my keyboard. I'm going to go straight down to custom and I'm going to delete what's currently in the type box. In quotation marks, I'm going to write the word or the text characters that I want to appear before the number in the cell. I'm also going to leave a space and then I'm going to put a zero. And the zero is the placeholder for the number that's currently stored in cell A2. So whatever number I now type in that cell, it's always going to be prefixed with the word product. I could do the same for this example. I want to say deadline is and then whatever date is in the cell. So it's control one, custom. I want to keep this format, the format that's currently there for my date, but in front of it, I'm going to write deadline is space quotation mark. Click on OK. And you can see that it now prefixes the date with deadline is. Now for these two cells, if the value is a positive value, I want to suffix the numeric value with in credit. And then if it's a negative value, I want to suffix it with the words in debit. So I'm going to select both cells, control one. I'm going to go to custom. And I'm going to choose one of these currency formats that you can see down here. I'll go for this one. Remember everything to the left of the semicolon is the format for positive values. And everything to the right of the semicolon is the format for negative values. So after the number format for positive values, in quotation marks, I'm going to put space in credit. And then after the negative number format, I'm going to put in quotation marks space in debit. Click on OK. And you can see that it applies the correct format for positive values and the correct format for negative values. OK, thanks very much for listening. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you next video.